Then we come to the next condition of bilateral cis isolated, that is autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Most common heritable cause of end stage renal disease. Incidence is 1 in 400 to 1000. Tiny percentage present in the fetal life, which is autosomal dominant. So, as a result, scan of parents and grandparents has to be done. It is due to mutation in the PKD1 and PKD2 uh, genes and 85% is due to mutation of PKD1 gene. There can be extra renal disease typically seen as cysts in liver, pancreas and spleen, seminal vesicles which are not seen in the prenatal scans. So these um, cysts can present as mass, pain, hypertension and hematuria. So patients uh, result in uh, renal failure in 50% by 60 years. So there is a recent international consensus statement on the diagnosis and management of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney in children and young people. So this article is a recent article. So this lecture covers this article. Now ADPKD on ultrasound you see enlarged kidneys with multiple cysts. It is almost always bilateral. There may be a variable cyst size within the kidney or it may be asymmetrical involvement in the uh, on the right and left side. Extradinal manifestations may also be seen and most commonly include hepatic cysts. Cysts are less commonly seen in other kidney organs like pancreas, spleen, ovaries and testis. Now this is an example of ADPKD where you see enlarged kidneys with multiple cysts but the cyst size are varying and it is asymmetrical. It is less in the right kidney whereas more in left kidney. And uh, there are also hepatic cysts. Another example of ADPKD with bilateral uh, cysts in the kidneys, and you see extraordinary manifestation in the form of multiple hepatic cysts is seen in the liver. Now, another example of ADPKD, the polystic disease of the kidneys, and as well as cysts in the liver, as seen here, and also rarely. There may be cysts in the other organs. Here, this is a transverse scan of the pancreas showing a cyst in the body of the pancreas. Little rare. More common is in the uh, liver. There can be some variations of uh, ADPKD, like here, it can involve an ectopic kidney. Now, this is a coronal scan of the right side showing polystic kidney of the uh, right, side, right kidney. Coronal scan of the left flank shows that the left renal fossa is empty. And the search for an ectopic kidney shows uh, sagittal scan of the bladder and polycystic kidney of the ectopic precycle kidney. And uh, a little more uh, cranial uh, scan shows that the ectopic precycle kidney is replaced by multiple cysts, typical of polycystic kidney disease. And there is also liver cysts. Now, in the autosomal dominant polycystic kidneys with a family history that is in high risk patients uh, uh, because of uh, history of in the family history, there are uh, P. Ravin criteria for a diagnosis. In the age um, 15 to 39 years, presence of three renal cysts right, in both kidneys would confirm the diagnosis. In between 40 and 59 years, at least two cysts, cysts in each kidney. Then the diagnosis, aged uh, 30 years or older, at least 4 cysts in each kidney will give the diagnosis of ADPKD. Ultrasound with 0 or 1 cyst at age 40 years excludes ADPKD. The cysts in uh, ADPKD may show uh, complications of hemorrhage, infection, rupture or nephrolithiasis. And uh, the ADPKD results in end-stage renal disease in about 50% uh, as the age advances. There is no increased risk of renal cell carcinoma. Now here you see an, uh, images of uh, an ADPKD with uh, bilateral polycystic kidneys and uh, cysts in the liver. On the left side you see fresh uh, clot in one of the cysts as seen as a soft tissue mass. It may shift in position. Now, fresh clot can also appear as a heterogeneous mass, partly filling the cysts or completely filling the cysts as seen in these images. The hemorrhage subacute will result in appearance of internal echoes in the cysts as seen here in these two images. Calculating the collecting system of the polycystic kidneys may occur 
as seen here you see two calculi in the lower calyx of left kidney this occurs in 16 to 25 percent of adpkd it can result in renal colic microscopic or gross hematuria or it can result in urinary tract obstruction so calculi causing urinary tract obstruction in this left kidney you see polycystic kidney and the dilated uh, ureter medial to the cyst and when you trace the ureter you see a calculus in the upper ureter causing obstruction in the patient presenting with uh, uh, ureteric colic there may be milk of calcium filling the uh, some of the cysts uh, in the polycystic kidneys very early onset adpkd can manifest as hyperechoic kidneys prenatally or in the newborn with ultrasound appearance mimicking that of ARPKD or glomerulocystic disease that is you see bilateral enlarged echogenic kidneys and uh, with or without tiny cysts in the cortex. So this appearance um, should give rise to a suspicion of ADPKD and if there is a family history then it is diagnostic otherwise they has to be children suspected of having ADPKD without a genetic diagnosis or clear family history. Confirmatory ultrasound should be performed within 12 months after the initial screening to rule out ADPKD. Now, prognosis of um, ADPKD, 50% of them um, end up in renal failure as the age advances. If it is seen prenatally, then the prognosis is very poor.